Hi everybody, this is your host Edward Roccatello and this is a new episode of Tales from the GIS. Today we will see how to uh, use the print layout of QJS. We have this map here, a uh, GPX file. We added it using the add layer, GPX layer. So we also have a few, uh, basic styling here and uh, um, dark background. So the first thing we are doing here is to create a new print layout, which is the fourth icon on the menu. If you click that or click Ctrl P, you will get a new um, print uh, layout um, which needs a layout title, so we can call it test layout and click OK or enter. And the print, print layout actually provides um, a way to lay out maps and to add elements like the map canvas, labels, images, legends, uh, scale bars, uh, basic shapes, uh, um, but also um, attribute tables, HTML, so you can lay out um, changing dimension, aligning, positioning the, the element, also rotations are supported, and you can export the map into a PDF or an SVG, or you can print it uh, using your printer. So it's just a template you can use to print your map. You can have multiple ones. And here we have a sort of map editor where we have an, all the controls in, um, in the bars. And here on the left, you have the, the tools to import, to add, to remove, to edit things into the map. So we can start adding a map, which is the um, this icon here, the fifth, which calls add map. Once you click it, you have a, a cursor here uh, where you can click and drag to select where you want to have your map so if we do that now we get our actual representation of the map and we can also for instance add a 3d map a picture a label a legend or a scale bar also a north arrow a shape a marker a node an arrow, a node item, HTML, attribute table, fixed table, and elevation profile. Once you add an item here, you will have it in the items list. Um, maybe we want to add a scale as well. So we click the, the, the scale, uh, the scale bar, and click and drag. Also, a north arrow here, for instance, and a legend. Okay, now the legend, uh, we'll put the legend down here. So we may want to uh, edit the properties for the whole layout. We had the reference map here. It's a reference on the map one, the guides and grids um, of, the, of the paper. The export resolution, which is really important, it defaults to 300 uh, DPI's but you can also set it lower or um, larger uh, you can also print it as a raster so everything gets um, it's turned into an image and uh, also you can export uh, uh, vectors if you want and uh, you can also save a word file if you need it and um, if you want that the generated image is um, referenced. Also, you can change the layout uh, to the, uh, to adapt the margins here yeah, and uh, so on. Okay, so we can also change the legend for let's change something here. 
Uh, well, obviously, the item's property changes with uh, the item which is selected, so the legend um, has the title, the map, which is uh, referred to, and this where are the symbols on the left or the right. If you want to remove something, maybe we want to remove the the the, the background. Also, you can restrict items that are visible, and you can change text uh, fonts, text formatting, columns, and so on. So it's quite complex. The north icon can be changed using symbols. Here, you can change the fill color, the stroke, the kind of uh, recite you want, uh, if you want to rotate, and so on. Also, the, the scale bar is uh, very customizable. You can change it using the uh, kind of segment you want. If you change here, or uh, so now it's from 0 to 15 kilometers you can change the units you want you may want to have a fit segment with if you like so you can turn the parameters here also the map may be changed for um, you um, to adapt to the user you know what you need so you can maybe turn down the scale a bit so it, it is, gets zooms a bit so okay maybe like this you can also import the the extents from the other side or you can change it from the map you can lock layers so the things you get in the map are not the things you um you may see in the map itself in qjs you can change the temporal range you can have grids if you want and uh, you can add it to grids if uh, if you like so maybe you want to, to have a grid with a wide appearance here for and the interval will be three maybe at 10 kilometers it's better and you, you can use map units or whatever you want um I, I don't like maintaining the grid, so I will remove it. Also, you can have an overview and add an overview of the map, and uh, you have to import it. Import a new map frame, but you have to change the, the all things here. And once you have done this, you can save the, the layout as a template. So you click here and you have it as a template. Or you can add new pages or align with the instruments above here. And that's all for the first uh, overview of the print, uh, the print layout. So we will see how to manage the layouts better in the next episode. We will see how to use uh, Atlas to work with very large maps and to customize your uh, print layout as you really need it. So thank you for listening. I hope uh, this introduction has been useful and see you to the next episode.